when I first tried them, I was like, ew. Turning the music off in this game is blasphemy. I actually want to punish myself for doing that. So yeah, what do you think of the new, the new color scheme I've gone for? Part of the excitement of today's stream, this little bad boy here. Check it out. I have replaced the insides of these buttons with Sanwa silencers, which make it insanely quiet. For comparison, I left one of the buttons plugged in. I'll press them both at the same velocity. But the new version of Sanwa Silent is coming out, generation two. There's also slim foam pads that you can put in, which make it less spongy. And Gamer Finger, so we have a lot to try out. Should I get Uni S2 for 30 bucks on Steam? Absolutely. I mean, I'm not gonna tell anyone what they should or shouldn't do, but I, I really absolutely would. I paid full price. This is the color scheme I've gone for. I think it's gunmetal gray. It's either bronze or gunmetal gray, it doesn't really matter. It's like gold and not quite gold. When you put the, this controller here. Yo, I love the sound of that. We are fully functioning sticking. Let's plug her in. Ah, but first, coffee. Brazil coffee there. Mm, mm, mm. This is the grind I'm using. It's called Japan Porlex. Oh man, I own so much swag gear. Let's grind. Hey Nihongo, I always figure myself to be decent at fighting games, but standard controllers tend to be painful for me. Do arcade sticks make you better and are they more comfortable? Well, here's one thing that's absolutely certain. Arcade sticks do not make you better. Are they more comfortable? Here's who I would suggest the arcade stick for. If you're a pad player and your thumb hurts, you're kind of like, oh wow, instant air dashes are really tricky. What it does is it makes the whole controller bigger. Imagine you're a little fairy and you're standing on the surface of your arcade stick and you're like pushing this giant stick. That's kind of how it feels. You'll feel like a fairy in giant land. <laughs> what? But I paid more money for a good stick so I could be better. Well, you got scammed. Banzai! Why are you saying Banzai? We like the hype. Training mood mode. Training mood? Big training mood. Training mode is crucial for any fighter. Yo, we are crushing 200 viewers right now. We're at 220. You guys are nuts. What's going on today? Are you guys really excited about something? FGC news time. Street Fighter V is now in arcades in Japan. I haven't been to see it yet. What's really funny, Trashbox got to Super Silver on Street Fighter V, the arcade machine, and no one else was Super Silver. <laughs> So the machine just stops giving him matches. They're like, sorry, no one else is your rank. We are one. That's his sponsor's name. And it's true. He's the only one. What do you prefer, the Pantera or the Pantera Evo? Uh, I'll be honest with you. I prefer the buttons on the Pantera Evo. Well, you guys are really good at keeping me on my feet today. I prefer the buttons on the Pantera Evo because they, they bounce up more quickly. And that doesn't make you better at the game. If you're the type of player where your thumb gets hurt really easily, in my case, it was a godsend. Because I think the first stick I used seriously, because I had the Super Nintendo one, I think the first stick I used seriously was the Dreamcast stick. I think I bought that stick so I could play, what's it called? Street Fighter Second Impact. 243 people watching! Yo, we're crushing it today! What's going on? Panthera, Evo, or Victrix? The Evo is really nice, but it's very light. Victrix, just purely by costing more they can afford to put more trimmings on it. If you only have $200, then the Pantera is a very, very respectable strick. Strick? Strick? Stick. The more and more I think about it, it's like I'm not a fighting game person. I'm a stick enthusiast. That's why I picked up the skateboard, that's why I play musical instruments, that's why I played percussion, that's why I played guitar. I, of course, love music. I like doing tricks with my yo-yo, but what I really like is manipulating tools. If fighting games were all mind controlled, I wouldn't play them. Absolutely not. Would you? Would you play fighting games if they were mind controlled? I want a quantum of solace, but no more than a quantum. I love how everyone's so hype about this game right now. Where were you two years ago? Evil Shogun! My first donation in my whole life. You deserve it. Evil Shogun! Thank you so much for blessing me with your first donation of your whole life. 
That's very generous of you. We're also going to change the color to something more appropriate. How about gold? Yeah, we're going gold today. Vic's going to give it to you. Going to give it to you. Vic's going to give it to you. Do, 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 do. All right, here's what's going to happen. I'm jumping straight online. <laughs> Can you hear that? You can't hear it. Because it's silent! If you can walk around with a $1,200 cell phone, don't cheap out on a stick. Good point! Yo, if we can get five more people in here, we're gonna be 300 viewers? Are you kidding me? Are we gonna break the record today? I'm a big fan of this music. It helps that I've played Blaze Blue Cross Tag. Yo! We are 326 people watching. Thank you so much for being incredible, incredible beans today. You guys are crushing it. We're gonna have some hardcore Victrix on UniST action. So when you first try silent buttons, it's offensive. It's like, ew, absolutely horrific. But once you get into it, it's no problem at all. Quick match, custom search, training mode, machi. There it is. The match is in. Chori. <laughs> I put it on I put it on ranked match and literally Choryu is the only one on. Give me your Gordo. I love this. I put it on ranked match and I still found you. It all started. Alright. And it starts. Kuga time! It's Kuga time! It's Kuga time! It's Kuga time! Cougar time. Oh no, oh no, 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 don't no, no, super me. Ah! No! Ah! 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 <laughs> nine frame. Was that nine frame delay? Does it say nine frame delay? Yeah, this is more like it. This is more like it. This is more like it. Yeah, that's the stuff. Replay that. Ah! <laughs> Noel Garcia, love your coffee videos. I just drink Keurig. Hey, if you're a K cup person, I'm down with that. I like the K cups. Ah! <laughs> no! There's no rematch button. I can't believe it. Eduardo! I've always been curious why Nihongo Gamer and not Nihonjin Gamer. <laughs> I love your videos. Everybody wants to know. It's Nihongo Gamer because the, ga the channel is actually about learning the language. Well, it was. It isn't anymore. I like the length of the combos in this game. I like that it's not too ridiculous. So that when you first get in, you just feel completely powerless. Yeah, man, I saw Maximilian got a million subs. Congratulations to that guy. Guy. I guess I have to call him dude, huh? Congratulations to that dude. One million subs is no joke. Especially in the fighting game YouTube world. As you all know, because I think a lot of you probably are YouTubers, so you know how it feels. Fighting game content is not exactly laugh a minute. It's okay. I'm not dead. I'm dead. That felt good. I got IP. This game, when you win, you get intellectual property. Go to customize, new skins, gotcha. Let's buy Linnae colors. Oh, there's tons of colors. The colors, Duke, the colors. Well, you can actually change the name of the room. Okay, it's just Nihongo Gamer. I've really got used to these buttons. I can't believe it. <laughs> this game's ridiculous. What is going on? Yikes. <laughs> it just never ends. So this is this is a uh, this is a problem. Well, that was that was fun. Try anti air. What is my anti air? Yeah, the game has like a hundred fifty tutorials or something. Michelle Collins, we're playing a game called Under Night in Birth. E-X-E Late S-T. It's the latest version, literally, the latest version of this anime game. You can play it on Steam, you can play it on PS4, I believe you can play it on PS3. You can play it on PlayStation Vita. And I'm using the Victrix Pro 
FS arcade stick with currently silent buttons. So it sounds really nice right now. And I'm gonna be honest, the the first time I tried them, I was like, it's way too gummy. I actually kinda like it now. If I were to rebuild the TE2 Plus today, I would have a USB-C removable cable. And I think I may adjust the slope. Because I the, the slope, like I never talk about it. It's true, I, f I always forget to talk about it, but the slope here for the wrist rest, it works really well. You don't even think about it. You just, it just disappears into the design. But it is actually tilted, you can see. Who are my favorite Tekken characters? That was left field. I really liked Huarang. Tactics challenges are the most important missions as they teach you neutral, anti-air, and the like. The rest are just combo missions. Gotcha. Oh, hey! I didn't know that you could dash on the ground with forward, forward AB. So I could go forward AB, forward AB. They're just saying that it's safe, safe to end with the, the A. Once you've played Street Fighter V, you're like spoilt for frame information. Or DOA even. Because I want to know how, how minus I am. Aw, Retro High Def, thanks so much. Most underrated YouTubers? Nah. There's so many. I mean, once you start browsing around on YouTube, you start to realize there's so many untapped resources here. So many amazing YouTubers, especially... Okay, actually, this is an important point. There are so many channels who do fighting game content who are not getting massive views. And I think it's just algorithms. They just haven't been discovered. There are so many channels. Instead of watching those, those replays from Capcom Fighters Network or from other people's streams that have been stolen, you could be out there watching channels of people who are working really hard to make really cool fighting game content but it's just really difficult because it's such a niche area and everyone's got their favorite YouTubers that they already watch. There's so many really amazing YouTubers on there, on YouTube who don't have a huge number of subscribers. So big shout out to them. People like Born Free, people like Frabasaur, people like Novel Tataki. These channels, they're putting out so much cool content. That's not to say that the big guys aren't important as well. It's just that YouTube has so many undis un untapped resources. I don't really know how to help you discover them. Because I can su I can suggest to you the YouTubers that I've been watching. Yo, Retro Hi Def, thank you for the dollar super chat. But the thing is with YouTube, once your home feed has decided you like this kind of content, how do you train it to show you some new stuff? So I think YouTube has much greater discoverability for smaller channels compared to Twitch but it's still not 100% there. As far as I'm aware, YouTube's not a very profitable platform for Google, so they've got to put preference on the channels that bring in all the views. Uh, okay. So if he's blocking too- if he's blocking low too much, then I can break through. Yeah, I see. <laughs> the, not the, the notation's not too clear, is it? I see. It actually means hold down the button. <laughs> I feel like Dead or, Dead or Alive does a bit of job of being transparent about that sort of thing. Yeah, so if he's blocking high go low, the second one is... Alright, so even if I'm not holding it down, he's just like, okay, hold down the third one. I got it. It means INCREASE! <laughs> As if that makes any sense whatsoever. Your channel is interesting since you are learning about fighting games and you do the chit chat and coffee. Oh man, I'm all about that coffee. Essentially, all the increased pressure in this game is genius, because if you're great at timing, you can fuzzy every increase. Okay, now you're, you're speaking a foreign language now. <laughs> Whoa, what was that? Oh, so the increased version is a downslide. That's freaking cheap. I wish my neighbor had silent buttons. <laughs> Are you serious? Do you, have, do you have a neighbor who doesn't play with silent- who has plays with loud, loud buttons? Oh, they just- ah. Uh, not just games, they're just loud in general. Okay. When did you get UniST? I bought this a year ago. Uh, six months ago. I bought UniST six months ago and I never really got into it. Just because I was too in- Actually, it wasn't because I disliked the game. It was because I was too into Blaze Blue Cross Tag. Like, I play the games, as you know, for the hardware. I play the games for the games. And I play the games for the scene. And the scene was just very much into BB Tag at the time. And I was like, okay. Hey, if locals are running BB Tag locals, count me in for BB Tag. But now that this is becoming a thing, I'm hoping that there'll be 
more local representation for this. Kirikayashi. I should have read that, huh? Yo, 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 chill, 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 chill. If someone's coming at you with an attack, do a DP. Okay. It's after, it's a... It's after the first few hits, okay. After the first few hits. The only thing is there's no DP shortcuts in this game. It's making this really frustrating. I can do it, but it's just, ugh, not used to it. I like this tutorial. Makes you feel like you've done something really clever. Yeah, I was massively carried by my DP shortcuts. Ooh. What the heck? I think I might buy this on PS Vita so I can play on the go. Yeah, there's a PS Vita version of Undernight, and if you- I don't know about the Western store, but in Japan, it's 50% off right now. Oh no, PS Vita only plays with itself? Really? This room is going live again, if you guys are interested. If- if no one joins, I'll just do some ranked matches online. Surprise, surprise! I've mastered the game now. I'm gonna anti-air at least once. Oh, that's over! Head. okay. Okay, fine. <laughs> I have mastered this game. That was very unsafe. So I was trying to do that thing where you break the combo with the, with the DP, but it's kind of tricky. Oh, I'm a master of the game now. This is my first time catching a stream. Thanks for joining the stream. I really appreciate it. Whoa, I did it once! That was my anti-air. Ah! Whoa, something cool happened. Whew, got lucky, I got lucky, got lucky. This game is amazing. I'm really into this game now. Oh, I was gonna wake up DP. Why would you, why would you? Deprive me of my wake up TP. I needed it. Thanks, Nihongo Gamer. Great one. Keep it up with the great stuff. Cheers, Mike. Did you get my friend request on PS4? I don't even know. I sometimes, I sometimes add and I sometimes just forget. I'm gonna be honest with you, um, and I've said this in every other stream as well. I don't interact with anyone on social media apart from Twitter. And even then, I don't add people on Twitter. I don't add people on Twitter. I don't add people on Discord, I don't add people on PlayStation, on Facebook, on anything. I don't add- I don't add people on anything. Just- even just listing the names off of my fingers, it's, it's too much for me to handle. So how dangerous is the- the- the dragon thing? Does it have a hitbox? Wow! Oh no, my DP! Where's my DP? Where's my DP? Give it to me! Oh, so he has no hitbox. <laughs> we now know that. <laughs> Eat cougar! Eat cougar! Ouch! Yikes! Hmm, okay. Okay. How do you like the silent buttons? Kitsune, remind me that you asked that question. When I first tried them, I was like, Ew, what are these buttons? But now, I'm really into them. I really like them. They're really encouraging me to stop slamming so hard. So not even just for being silent, but just for pain relief on, on any stick. Yikes. Uh-oh. Someone's brought out their main. No more sandbagging. Eat Kuga! Okay. This man always wants to play Melty Blood. Who doesn't? We all want to play Melty Blood. Actually, I've never played Melty Blood in my life. I've already forgotten the combo, the one combo I used to know. Okay. Fine. She's cool. Honestly, there's so much cool stuff going on that it just makes you want to play more. I, I do kind of want to play Merkava, but not enough to risk not learning how to play the game. I would prefer to learn how to play the game. If you had the game. Hey, 
Well, now it's on sale. It's on sale on Steam, right? I think it's on... Well, it's definitely on sale for PlayStation in Japan. Whoops! Ah, Stofire wa yarimasu ka? Kyo wa Stofire wa yarimasen. Kyo wa Yuni Under Night. Under Night or Inverse. Today is Under Night Inverse. But normally I do play Street Fighter V. I would like to learn more about this game. So we're going to play this game for a bit. But pretty much every week I will still be playing Street Fighter V, I think. Just so I don't get too rusty. Ah! Oh, I thought I lost. I thought I lost, so I didn't press any buttons. Oops. If you want to play on Steam, you have to look for a Discord or a group. Talking of which, if you guys are interested and you're not already members of the Nihongo Gamer Discord, you can join the Discord and we have a system for finding matches. But normally when you're running a battle lounge on UniST, Tekken, Dragon Ball, Soul Calibur, Street Fighter V, if you go on the Nihongo Gamer Discord and you put out the at mention of the game, you can find other people who are interested in playing. The Discord link is in the description of this video. You can chat about uni- there's a UniST room, there's people who play the game, you can find battle lounges. I like this- I like this BC evade thing. I like that, that's so cool. Ah, Is this game fun? Personally speaking, yes. It's a lot of fun, and, I th and I'm not even playing the fun parts. Like, I haven't got to the fun bit yet. But as a beginner, as a beginner, yes. It is, it is fun. It's immediate, and like a lot of people say this, it's, a, it's, a, it's enough like Street Fighter that it feels familiar. Oh, why doesn't I? Why doesn't I? Why doesn't I jump over that? Ah. That was a good session. I love balancing it out with crazy, I can't win this match, but I'm gonna try anyway. Balancing that out with a bit of training. Okay, so that B plus C is a strong move, but in exchange it takes half a block of grid meter. Oh, <laughs> so I, I didn't even know that. I was just mashing B, C, B, C, B, C. Hope you guys enjoyed. <laughs> my my camera's done that thing again where, where the sun comes out and it gets too bright. I hope you guys have enjoyed this stream with the Victrix Pro FS Fighter Stick, which as I'm aware, as far as I'm aware, this stick actually released today. I believe you can go on their shop and you can order it. I think until today for the past two weeks you could pre-order it. I am personally running Sun with Silent buttons, but you don't have to. I really like the feel of the Sun with Silence now, to the point that I would actually be tempted to put the foam pads in all of my other sticks. I don't recommend it like everyone should play with them, it's just I'm really liking it right now. So the, the thing is, I don't know, if I put it on the Mad Cat's TE2+, it might be too spongy. The fact that this is such a rigid body is probably helping for these Summer Silence to be a pretty good balance. Sorry, I just have to do this every now and then. There's just nothing more fun than this. Did you guys enjoy UniST, or UNIST, as some other people call it? Question from the Discord. Is the Nihongo Gamer Dojo in Street Fighter V still accepting new members? Yes! I think there's space for another t eight, 17 or 18 members. Yeah, the game it looks fun. I hope you, I hope you enjoyed it. Honestly, I wish I had played more of it. I don't regret playing Blaze Blue Cross Tag last year. I don't regret playing Street Fighter V. I'm just happy that this game has got a bit of a resurgence going on now because of the Evo main title announcement. It's a really good excuse for me to get back into the game because I was looking, I was looking for excuses to play it again. Trying to train for EVO. Not specifically. I don't plan on joining EVO for UniST. I don't even know if I plan on joining EVO at all. I have no plans. I have no plans right- Ouch. I have no plans to go and play at EVO World this year. But who knows? I may change my mind at the last minute. You never know how it could go. Just started watching. How do the buttons sound? They sound like this. Here's the silent button first. And here's the loud button. With the original buttons, I hear a crackling sound in my ear. It goes, tap, 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 tap. 
in my ear, like literally hear a sound. Now I am holding it right up next to my ear, so it's normally really not that bad. It just sounds like a loud stick. And some people like that. I get, I get that some people like that. But it wasn't personally for me, so I'm really liking the sound of this. And I actually quite like the feel. I actually quite like the feel. Turning the music off in this game is blasphemy. I agree. It is. I, I actually want to... I actually want to punish myself for doing that. Yeah, oh, so what do you think of the new the new color scheme I've gone for? Gunmetal gray and gold. But then again, it might be bronze. I'm not really sure. It's either bronze or it's gunmetal gray. Whatever it is, I like the look of it. And I love having... Because I, I don't really use these buttons over here. I, well, that's not true. I use them for throw and V-trigger sometimes. I like having them a separate color. But I'm really I'm really keen on this this color scheme. It looks better than I was expecting. This is still the best modern 2D fighting game. Period. Ooh, big words. I'm glad it's on Evo's main stage, and I hope Yakuya comes out on BB Tag and Kira from Arcana Heart. What I'm wondering is for BB Tag, are all the new fates are they all going to be one character each? Is what I really want to know. Yongo, there's a surprise in the general Discord chat. I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> I'm I'm kind of scared. I'm gonna be honest. That fills me with fear. But in a good way, in a good way. Alright, Zibby, do you stream on Twitch? Yes, I do. I often don't really put a lot of stuff in the description, but yes, I'm on Twitch if you just search Nihongo Gamer. YouTube does punish you for having external links. That's why I generally don't advertise the Twitch link too much, because if you click on my Twitch link and you get sent away to a, a different site from YouTube, YouTube will drop you in the algorithm. So that's the only reason I don't put it on there, but hey, you know the name. Hey, why don't you add KOF14 on the Discord? So the reason I don't have certain games on the Discord is because I like to be part- I like to be able to take part in all the rooms. Basically, if it just becomes an FGC server with just a bunch of random FGC games, then the, it basically is, becomes a rolling snowball. It's like, hey, why don't you add Dengeki Bunko on Discord? Why don't you add KOF on Discord? Why don't you add KOF 2002 on Discord? Why don't you add KOF 99 on Discord? There's so many other games that people are still playing. Why don't I add Third Strike on Discord? There could be so many other games I could add. So the, my, my strategy for that was to only add the games that I'm currently playing. Or at least have some vested interest in getting better at. And that's, that's how I've chosen the games that are there. It's nothing to do with thinking that they're better or worse games. That's, that's pretty much all it is. How do you fear in a good way? Hey, the Discord. If you join the Nihongo Gamer Discord, you will know, Calamity. You will know what it means to fear in a good way. I believe they will milk the fates they already have the assets for. Yeah, but what worries me about games like Street Fighter and also BB Tag is that it, get, it can get to a point where there's too many characters and you just get Mugenitis. It just feels like Mug Mugen. I don't want it to be limitless. I enjoy balanced games and it already worries me that BB Tag is getting too big. Every time they add a new character, I have to learn a bit about that character. Otherwise, if I don't know the matchup, it's kind of scary, right? You bad boy, bad boy. You know what you should do? You should put some speakers in the Victrix Pro. This is a message to Victrix. Put some speakers here so you can walk around town like this. <laughs> Detention's cool, you just sit there. Well, you know what? So here's the real here's the real joke about detention, and schools don't know this, and they still don't know this. Detention is genius. Bad boys and bad girls, they don't know the other bad boys and the bad girls. They don't know who they are. They're saying rude words, they're being mean to other people, they're being unfair, and they say, Yo, you're bad, go to detention. What they're actually doing is they're upgrading you to the secret society. The bad boys secret society. Detention is how you figure out who all the other bad boys and bad girls are. And then you form a little club and then you become more and more powerful. Schools have no idea. It's 2019 and they still don't know. The detention purely brings bad people together until they become more powerful. And on that note, I'm gonna leave you. That's where we find our friends. That's where we find our people. I will see you in the next Nihongo Gamer video and or stream. I will put up a schedule on Discord. So if you're not a member of Discord, well, you don't have to join, but if you join, it's a lot of fun. They've got like over 800 people in there now. So getting closer to 900, soon 1000. It's big, big, exciting stuff. 
see you on Discord. It's a good place to find matches, set up battle lounges, talk about fighting games, talk about drawing, talk about music, talk about anime, talk about anything. I'll see you next time. Bye! I'm not